Spice Popo, it's a girl, so Spice is Sesca. So today on Sex Matters, we will be talking about erogenisms. Now, the word arrow is gotten from the word love. Mm, I love you. <laughs> and genius is said to be gotten from the word producing. So in other words, all we are saying is erogenisms are those areas of the body, right, that are highly sensitive when stimulated. Very easy. Now, how do we know the parts uh, of the body that are really sensitive, right? Some people say there are different erogenisms between a woman and that of a man. So what part of your body is your erogenism? So a lot of people do not even understand what erogenisms mean, right? So today on this episode, I'm going to be telling you all the erogenous parts of the body and maybe how to find them. Not to worry, in other episodes, I'm going to be differentiating the erogenisms in the man and that of your woman but tonight it's all about everyone the erogenous of your body so what part of your body can one call your genius so i'm going to be started from the crown of the head to the sole of our feet so the first part i'm talking about is please note every human is said to have five or six or more erogenous zones but hey the first thing you need to understand is what part of your body turns you on that is what you need to know and a lot of people do not even understand their body let it on know what part turns them on so then we'll be starting from the crown so the first part i'm going to be talking about is the scalp yes a lot of people might not understand but some people's scalp are their genius so you might want to find out for someone that i know i'm not going to mention who <laughs> the moment you touch her scalp She's as good as gone. So, um, the scalp is one part of the erogenous on the back of the neck. And when I say the back of the, I mean the nape of the neck, right? Most times your mouth might not get there, but hey, you've got fingertips to do the work, right? Yes, before I continue, I would like to introduce you to my ta -da. This is called a whip for those who don't understand. Now, a lot of people have ideas of what a whip should do or what it's meant for. People just see whip and think that. Mm. but hell no whips are used for different things and that is what i'm going to be teaching you tonight also i have with me the feather yes the feather now you see something like i said um we have the different parts of the body that the original zones and what you might need to do now the first step of finding out your original zone is paying attention to your body so here is the tip you might want to play um a sexual game with your spouse and then both of you get to sit down and let your spouse trace a feather or now you can get this feather um in a bdsm kit okay so here in the bdsm kit uh, immediately the um, 10 in one bdsm kit that's where this comes in right so you might want your spouse to you know put the feather all around you know <sighs> but you know this really feels good like touch you oh jeez the back of your neck so back <laughs> so i was talking about um the originals so you might want to check the original so we have the we have the scalp we have the back of the ear we have the back of the neck we have the lips for some people we have the nipple for some people both male and female don't worry i'm going to break it down for you right we have the nipple you have the armpit yes you heard me right you have the armpit you have the ear, you have the palm, you have the fingers. For some people, uh, I'm trying to take it down. You have the navel. For some people, you have um, the mon pubis. That, that's the, the fleshy area above the clitoris, right? Where you have your hair that you chop off. Yeah, you know, you have that part also. You have your butts, you have your clitoris, you have the A spot, you have the G spot. Um, I'm still going, I'm still going. Now for men, you have the um, the glands, which is which we sometimes call, most times called the crown, right? You have the glands, you have the you have the frenulum, you have the perineum. The perineum is the the space in between the asshole and the scrotum. That space, you know, in between. Yeah, just to imagine it, right? That also can be an original for some for some people. Um, you have the feet, you have the toes, um, you have the thumb. Uh, ah geez for some people no. you have the tom you have the foreskin you have the scrotum or testicles you have the ties you have the bots yes you have the back of the knee you have the inner side of the wrist you know 
there are so many original zones right these are places that have more or higher nerve endings now what part of your body is your erogenous zone do you really know do you really want to find out mm -hmm. okay if you really want to find out do not worry join me on my next video as i take you through the erogenous zone for men and that of a woman do you have a cystastic there love you and i mean your one and only soul spice the sex goddess. Bye.